Hello guys and welcome back to the channel KOS Keep On Shooting. So for today, I have a budget slingshot from China to show you guys. I got this for $14.99 free shipping on Amazon. So what's inside? Stick around. You're watching KOS Keep On Shooting. Alright, so let's get right into it. I already opened up the box. I took a look at the slingshot to see how it came. So I, I pretty much just placed it back in there for video purposes. <laughs> but I'll show you guys how it comes. This is the box that you get. New, made in China. And that's it. No other type of branding on there. When you open up the box, you get this nice microfiber bag. And of course, the same shot, the frame is inside. And you get some hardware as well. There's some sights, an Allen key, and some fiber optics there in case you want to use those. I myself don't use them. I use uh, the corner of my frame as a reference. It also comes with a note. Dear customer, thank you for purchasing our product. The product you received is our improved and upgraded version. Hmm, interesting. The difference from the original version is that the aiming point has been optimized. The original aluminum material is changed to steel material the usage time will be longer and the experience will be better. Hope you like our product. Thank you very much for your support. ProTor Customer Service Center. Nice little note. And over here, of course, we have the frame. If I can get it out. There we go. So here we have our slingshot. The reason I order this, look at that. It's a fat one. <laughs> so it looks very comfy. And it is comfy. Pinch grip, very nice palm swell, fills the whole hand. And I already banded it up. It did not come banded up, but it's real easy. Spring loaded clips, push your clip, insert your band. Tighten up and then secure it with the flathead screwdriver. And pretty good clips. I mean, that band is not going anywhere. That is maxed out right there. Let's do the other side. Yeah. So pretty secure band attachment. Now, material wise, eh. For $14, it's okay, but not the best. I mean, this is made out of a alloy material. And as you can see, it is by no means perfect. There's some scratches there. And then on the fork tips, let me see if I can show you guys. You see how this one is squared, nice and flat? Well, here on this one, look at that. <laughs> it goes to the left so there are some imperfections there but the clips are straight though so there's no sharp edges whatsoever on the clip side so that's good it is light this is not wood it is actually plastic that's hollow let me give it a, a whack there. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But that's hollow. Just some plastic scales over it. Now on the comfort level, that's tops. I mean, this thing feels really, really nice. Look how it fits the hand. With that huge palm swell. And even the front as well. It just feels fantastic. 
I could shoot this or hold this all day long with no discomfort. Now it is on the smaller side. I usually shoot 85 to 90. This one is, if I'm not mistaken, 80 outer. Hold on. Let me check that real quick. Give me a second. And that's, uh, yeah, three inches. So that's uh, 76 millimeters. 76, 77, around there. So definitely on the smaller side than what I normally shoot or prefer. But I've been shooting smaller frames recently and I do like them. I just tend to aim a little lower than where I normally aim. All right, so I'm not gonna talk any further. I'll put the link down below where I got it in Amazon in case you guys are interested. Again, not the best of materials, a lot of imperfections on the alloy, cheap scales, but comfort wise, feels good. So enough of me talking. I'm pretty sure you guys want to see more shooting than me just mumbling around. So let's go take some shots. Let's see how we do. I have a can here. Mountain Dew Voodoo. <laughs> Great stuff. I just finished it. So let's go hang it. Let's take a couple of shots. Let's see how we do with it. Stick around, guys. Oh, before we go shoot, guys, I forgot to mention, you also get some extra band sets inside the microfiber bag. In case you're wondering. Now the, the pouches, they're okay. Some type of synthetic leather. They don't feel like microfiber. All right, so without further ado, let's go shoot. Stick around. First shot ever with this budget frame. And that looks nice. I wish that was real wood. That would be awesome. Here we go. Nice. Does shoot a little high, as expected, because it is 76 outer. Pretty good shooter. Just awesome. It's hitting right where I want it. Nice, shoots very, very nice. Let's try something harder. I'll be right back guys, hold on. I ain't gonna stop the video right here. Let me go get something smaller, I'll be right back. All right, so this is the original target, our can. And let's go for this 30 mil spinner up here. Let's see if we can hit this. Let me go back 10 meters and let's see if we can hit that tiny little thing. All right, guys, 10 meters, 30 mil spinner. Let's see if we can shoot it. Give me a second. If 
trying to get my ammo. There we go. 38 steel. Nothing has changed. I don't usually shoot this high, but here we go. Let's see if we can get it. Boo! On the money, guys. First one. Second one. Ah, nick the bottom of it. I don't know if you want to count that as a hit, but I barely, barely nicked it there. There you go, that center. bunch of bugs flying around look at that pardon while I recenter my pouch here nice let's do one more the bugs are killing me here. Ah, that was a little low, but hey, I'll take it. Pretty good shooter. Okay, so there we have it, guys. A $15 frame. Under $20. And it shot fantastic. Very comfortable. I could shoot this all day long. Just remember, the material-wise, you are getting $15 worth of a frame. I mean, it's got tons of imperfections, as already mentioned. It looks like I fork hit it, but I have never fork hit this frame. That's how it came. And then here, look at that. So, it's a good shooter just not the best quality but like they say it's the shooter not the frame all right so there we have it just wanted to show you guys my first shots with this frame a budget frame from amazon not bad for under 20 bucks you guys take care thank you once again for all support Really do appreciate it, guys. And as always, keep on shooting. Let's see if we can get the top one as well. Keep on shooting once again. <laughs> awesome. You guys take care. See you on the next one.